Um, my name is Rinad Munasra. Uh, I am uh, a part uh, of the Union of Agricultural Work Committee, which is a Palestinian and uh, non governmental agriculture organization. Uh, and the Union of uh, Agricultural Work Committee is the representative of La Via Campesina movement in the Arab region and North Africa. Uh, so, uh, yeah, UAWC or Union of Agricultural Work uh, Committee. Uh, is uh, cooperating with Palestinian vision to help them and support them in cultivating their land uh, under the unstable socio uh, and uh, socio political circumstances that we are living uh, in Palestine. Uh, today, we uh, I will uh, talk about the water right in Palestine, the status and reality of water right in Palestine, and uh, uh, the rule of agroecology in preserving water right and the food sovereignty in Palestine. Uh, the content of the PowerPoint will start with the historical background and key dates related to uh, his, the Palestine history. And the, then I will uh, indicate to the sources of water in Palestine. And then uh, we will uh, explain the Israeli violation and suppression of Palestinian water rights. After that, we will clarify and reflect the Palestinian resilience uh, to preserve their water rights. So uh, for the history or the key dates, uh, in 1917, the British issued the bill for declaration. And in, uh, in, uh, in 1947, the United Nations approved uh, the partition plan, uh, which included the division of Palestine into two states, Arabic and Jewish states. Then in 1948, Israel was declared as an independent state. Uh, after that, in 1967, the six days of war took place in Palestine. It was between Israel and Arabic state uh, of Egypt, Syria, and Jordan. And this war led to the, uh, occup uh, to the Israeli occupation of West Bank and Gaza. After that, in 1993, also efforts come to the surface, and uh, it uh, led to the recognition of Israel as a state by the Palestinian Liberation Organization. While Israel recognized Palestinian Liberation Organization as representative of the Palestinian nation, then the negotiation on a final solution issues started. And it's important here to know that water is one of the final solution issues that entered the negotiation. Uh, for the sources of water in Palestine, there is two uh, important sources. The first one is the grounded water resources, which is uh, represented by the mountain aquifer. Uh, um, mountain aquifer is with a total average yield of uh, 679 to 734 mcm per year. Uh, the second source is the surface source, which represents by Jordan River. Jordan River is supplies up to uh, 650 mcm of water per year. Uh, before starting with uh, explaining the uh, status of uh, water rights in Palestine, it's important to indicate to the United Nations uh, definition or main construction of the uh, water rights. The United Nations focused into two points uh, in defining water rights or human water rights. Uh, they indicate to the, uh, uh, that each human have the right to uh, physically access water sources and to have a good quality and the quantity of water for uh, his or her domestic use. The second point is related to the sanitation. So each human has the right to have a good uh, sanitation networks because sanitation uh, helps and protect uh, the health of a human. And this way you can protect the dignity of a human being. So uh, now I'm gonna uh, give uh, details about the uh, reality and the status of uh, uh, water, uh, Palestinian water right, and how this right is under violation and suppression. Uh, first of all, uh, there is uh, the idea of exploitation of the, of the water sources in Palestine. Um, according to the BBC report, uh, Israelis uh, are uh, using 80% of the mountain aquifer uh, water while Palestinian is just able to use or, and access 20% of the water of the mountain aquifer. In addition of that, the World Bank report uh, both that in 1991, uh, Israel extra act uh, 591 uh, MCM uh, from the Western mountain aquifer water, uh, while the allowed amount 
uh, amount according to OSTO Accord is the 300 uh, C2. So, there is, so Israel over exceeded the allowed amount uh, and they uh, extracted an additional amount of 226 uh, MCM uh, of water. In addition of that, Jordan River uh, was accessible to Palestinians before the occupation. But after occupation, Palestinians are not able to uh, reach the river or to get benefit from the river. So the, the whole amount that the river, uh, the river supplies is uh, used by uh, Israelis. Uh, the second uh, uh, form of suppression is the unequal distribution of water and the unequal supplies. Um, I am going to give you an example. So there is a community in Palestine called, uh, called Al-Hadidiyah community. This community exists in Jordan Valley, uh, an area classified as Area C. Uh, the people there, the Palestinian individual there, are, uh, have access to uh, 20 liters uh, of water per day, while the settlers who uh, live in the uh, next settlement, uh, the settlement called Rio, and it is located near to the Al Hadidiyah community, the settler there, uh, the individual settler, is able to access to 460 liters of water per day. So there is a gap uh, in, uh, in the amount of water that is consumed by Palestinian and the amount that is used by Israelis. In addition of that, as you can see in this picture, uh, the individual person in the West Bank, the Palestinian individual, is able to use uh, 773 liters of water per day, uh, while this amount is less than the minimum standard that was by the World Health Organization. So according to the World Health Organization, each individual ha should have a, a minimum amount of, of 100 liter of water per day, while Palestinians are not able to access to the minimum standard. In addition of that, uh, the discrimination is not just by the uh, Israeli as, as a occupying power, but the Israeli institution is practicing kind of discrimination. For instance, uh, McCourt Company is, a, uh, is an Israeli water company. Uh, it's a governmental company. This company uh, is applying and implementing a plan called Rotation Plan. The Rotation Plan is based on uh, distributing water for a specific area uh, in the Palestinian city for a specific time. Then they cut off and shut off the water flow and uh, distribute uh, to another area in the same cities. In addition of that, this company bought devices inside the pipeline. This device has the ability to reduce the flow of the water. So they reduce the amount of the water that reached to the Palestinian people. Uh, as a result of these uh, unstable sociopolitical circumstances, and as a result of the lack of water uh, in Palestine or the, the limited amount of water that Palestinians have, Palestinians as individuals and as institutions uh, are taking action. They are trying to find an uh, alternative solution or, uh, or alternative ways to reduce the uh, negative impact of the lack of the water. Uh, for instance, Union of Agricultural Work uh, Committee adopt and applying the, uh, agroecology. Uh, why uh, we choose agroecology? We choose agroecology because agroecology, as it is known, it passed on uh, not in, go in the idea that uh, it, uh, you can go beyond uh, using alternative thing and you can create your own uh, agroecosystem which uh, could be with a minimal uh, input energy and minimal uh, degree of uh, agrochemical. So uh, Union of Agricultural Work Committee is applying specific techniques of agroecology. The first uh, technique is the simplified hydroponic. Uh, you can see in, in this picture, a unit that designed by Union of Agricultural Work Committee on a roof uh, on uh, that, uh, on the, uh, on a Aida refugees camp in Bethlehem city in Palestine. So this simplified hydroponic unit uh, includes the three uh, systems uh, of uh, simplified hydroponic. There is a, here the standard the hydroponic system. Here you can see the Dutch hydroponic system and here the Patsin hydroponic system. 
uh, this unit was uh, built on an area of uh, 50 uh, square meter and it were cultivated with various variety variety you can see strawberry you can see ornamental flower and the other various um, plants so the idea of uh, using simplified hydroponic is related to the problem of lake of soil fertility uh, the lake of soil fertility is a result of the lake of the amount of water that reached to that soil. So there is not enough amount of water to provide the soil with minerals. As a result, simplified hydroponic could be a, a way to solve the problem of the lake of uh, soil fertility, which is the result of the lake of the amount of water that reached to the soil in Palestine then. Uh, in addition of that, uh, uh, UAWC is using um, the uh, technique of hanging strawberry, and it was a successful technique. It helped in uh, increasing the number of cultivated land uh, or donums uh, from uh, eight donums to 14 donums. It also reduced the, the consumption of irrigation water to a list uh, uh, to uh, around 60%. And it increased the uh, production of the products more than the open field. In addition of that, Union of Agriculture World Committee uh, did various activities uh, and invest in the management and development of water sources. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, we provided uh, 3,500 uh, 3, uh, donum uh, with water. Uh, we did uh, a rehabilitation of uh, four natural springs. Uh, we did a reconstruction and establishing 172 uh, rainwater collection wells. Uh, as a result, uh, or uh, to conclude, uh, Palestinian uh, and uh, Palestinian civil society institution are trying to, um, to uh, use the limited amount uh, of water that existed in their land in a clever way that is not uh, just to use uh, water in a better way, but you are using uh, the limited amount of water in a way that give you the first step in achieving your food, uh, food sovereignty and uh, in producing your local products. That's it, thank you.